And we're joined uh, now by Alexia Quadrani, media analyst at J.P. Morgan, looking at the, the action in the stock, Alexia. It's been a grind, uh, but a grind higher, a grind back. Uh, I think we got as low as about $85, uh, and now back over 120, still quite a, a, a distance from one, uh, 153 from the highs. Have you had an outperform the whole time? I know this is one of your, your favorite picks, and you've reiterated that, but... Uh, did you have an outperform through through the last two or three months? Yeah, we did. We, have, we absolutely did have an outperform all the way down, and then now halfway back. Uh, we just, you know, we we don't change ratings every you know every few weeks. I mean, obviously, if we had the the knowledge of what happened sort of in March with the market, maybe we would have lowered our rating and said, said this is what the pandemic's going to drive all the stocks we cover. We probably would have lowered our ratings in lots of stocks for the intermediate term. Um, but we really try to stress our long-term view on Disney from the beginning. You know, we basically said in our notes that we published while the stock was going down, you know, this, this company's going to push through this. And if you're in this for the long haul, while the near term, there might be pressure on the stock. If you're in this for the long haul, you know, this is, this is a, a, a true overweight. Would have been hard to get a, a V, given that, I mean, yeah, I, I think of our parent, uh, Comcast, you've got that cable, sort of that solid business uh, underneath. Uh, I mean, Disney has streaming, but other than that, I mean, you look at the what, what they how they try to the mix of assets. It's been very, very difficult uh, for what COVID has affected almost every part of their business. The Shanghai reopening, uh, can you uh, compare that directly to what we can expect in this country? Because that's a blueprint, but is it? Can you replicate what happened in Shanghai with with the way Americans uh, uh, behave? Do you think? I think you said it the right way. I think it's a blueprint, right? It's not I'm not a perfect match, but it's definitely a blueprint. And I think in a way they're much better off than some other other theme parks here in the U.S., right? Because they have done it in another country, maybe not exactly the same, but very close to the same. And then not only that, they've also had two months, right? They're going to have two months between the opening of Shanghai and the opening here. So they've had two months to say, OK, this is what Shanghai looks like. This is what we look like here at Disney World. This is how we're different, and this is how we're going to make adjustments. I mean, people behave a little bit differently in the U.S. right than they do in China, so it's not going to be perfect, perfectly analogous. But I think it's a very, very helpful uh, benchmark. 